Good morning from the Dolomites again. Ciao. Today we're going to be hiking Monte Coldai. For a full hike guide of Monte Coldai, you can check the link in the description below. We are up taking the chairlift. We're cheating. We're saving ourselves about uh, 1,200 feet of climbing here. We both have tired legs, and so we're looking to shorten this up quite a bit. I had a moment of insanity, ambition, and I wanted to do a much larger objective, but we just got way too late of a start. The weather wasn't supposed to be this nice, and this is our last day here, so breaking us again, which I've done many times on this trip, is probably not the best option. To the right, you have your summit, and then to the left is a much bigger day, much taller peak, one of the classic um, Via Ferrata's here apparently, but too much for us today, so we're gonna stick to our little guy right here. The sign seems a bit dramatic. If you had started from the bottom, you would have come up here, and then you're gonna just work your way up, 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 and then to the top. This trail is really popular, as you can see. You don't see that every day. you get to that little saddle I showed you where we came down and you could have walked up it's pretty much just a straight switchback climb there's a lot of little social trails goat sheep trails as it turns out but really the main one is just a series of switchbacks so if you find yourself doing anything else you're probably off the trail not that it seems to matter that much here but from an ease of hiking standpoint that's where you're going As you get closer to the saddle here, a bunch of pretty steep switchbacks. Again, a ton of social trails. Follow the obvious ones, unless you want some scree fest. After just about two miles from the chairlift, so maybe three from the bottom, get to uh, refugio here. And to continue on, you're going to head up to the notch and then eventually right up to the peak. Okay. Now that you're on the uh, bridge here, you're gonna take a right, go to the summit. That was objective one for the day. Very good decision to bail. Still a beautiful scene up here, but weather's starting to look a little bit angry. This is Lago Coldai. And it's a popular spot in its own right. Or 
working up the final bit here. Some, uh, I think, minor scrambling as we get towards the top. Taking a look. A bit of exposure, but pretty much just a class two narrow gravelly path. Cross has seen better days. Oh, thought that was a bell. It is not. <laughs> Summit of Mount Cold Dye here. You got the lake below you, that badass peak over there, and of course, the absolutely stunning views up here. Wow, what a beautiful summit, Mount Cold Eye. From where we started, about 1,600 feet of gain, so 1,200 more, 28, 29 or so, if you started from the bottom, which I'm gonna run or hike fast down, I'm not really sure yet. Without the bottom start, about 2.75 miles, so I would imagine this is gonna be about seven to eight round trip, depending on where you start. Um, but overall, definitely a worthy hike. A lot of the people that come up to hike this, I mean, look at this view here. Um, we'll just go to the lake and um, it's a beautiful spot on its own for sure. But for the extra little bit of effort you have to put in to get up to the peak, absolutely worth it. You could definitely do it in a half day. We are lingering um, just because we like to take it in. It's our last day here, but overall Mount Cold Eye, A plus. Uh, this one behind me looks like Capitol Peak, it's funny. Um, Anyway, if you're new to my channel, I'm based in Colorado in the United States, but I have a ton of hikes from all over the place. A ton here in the Dolomites, uh, Costa Rica, all over the world, all over the U.S. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you found this video at all helpful. At least throw me a like. That's the least you can do, right? To help support the channel, to shop virtual Sherpa gear, you can check my store, which is linked in the description below. YouTube makes it a little bit harder to find it, but it is in the description. If you want a full free trail guide of this so you can screenshot it and just follow uh, everything you need to know about parking and how to get up here and all that fun stuff. Uh, you can check that out in the link in the description below as well. On behalf of Jackie and myself, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys on the next adventure.